Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will see how we can segment the text into words and count the number of words in a given text. In last video, we saw how we can segment the text into lines and now we will further do analysis on it and do the segmentation at word level. So let us see how we can do this. Okay, so last time we detected the text lines and now we want to further segment those text lines into words. So the first thing we need is to define a kernel for the morphological processing. Uh, for the line segmentation, we selected a larger kernel. Now I'm going to select a smaller kernel of one and uh, we can select, let's say, three by five. So according to the size of your text, you can select this size, but generally the width is a little bit more than the height so that I have want to detect the horizontal text. And its depth will be like uh, on side eight and uh, then one channel. Another thing that I need is a mask. I'm just going to create a mask from this rotated uh, image and it will be just one channel. So I'm using this first channel to copy it. So we can use the copy blank, copy blank. Okay, and once we have this one, uh, we can store the result, what we call it IMG output, and the rotated image dot copy blank. When it is copy blank, the background will be basically black, and I want the background to be white and the text to be uh, black in the final output. So I'm just going to add 255 for all the pixels, or you can use this set value also to set all the pixel values to be 255 and now i can loop through all these bounding boxes that we had so the bounding rectangles we can call them the box and inside the boxes the boxes and what i will do is for each line i'm going to draw it so i'm going to draw mask.draw using the box and the gray value that i want to use is a white one and then we can use a minus sign to fill that rectangle okay so this one will select a line and now i want to set the rotated image dot roi so region of interest that i want to work in only this line area and then apply this detect text segmentation uh, we can pass this rotated image and the kernel also we have already selected the kernel here and this one will definitely return us two things as you know the one thing it will be the image and we can call it image for example three another thing will be the word boxes i call it and kernel kernel spelling as well so for each line we set the roi pass it to this method and it will return us draw it and also return us the boxes that we can use them and the one thing that we need to make sure that roi is set back to rectangle dot empty for both of them rotated image dot roi is equal to rectangle dot empty Okay, so uh, the result is in IMG3 and uh, we want to put that result into this for one line, for example. So this one will contain only one line, but I want to put them all together into IMG output. So what we can do, we can perform an IMG, uh, what we call it, end operation. So IMG output dot underscore end means that I am in memory replacement so the img output is being changed with img3 so this one will do an end operation so and then we can display it so this one i hope will segment the text into words so this is all what we have already done and this we will give the bounding area and in this 
one line and that one line will be segmented it will find the contours and, and combine them and then it will return us and this line will save the results into this image and i'm going to show them let us see it and what the results are telling us open it and then we can select any of the image text line segmentation wow so uh, but there is a little problem i see that the data and analytics are two words but those are combined into one segmentation which means that our dilation operator is a little bit more similarly this one so what i will do actually instead of using a dilation of size 5 i'm going to reduce it to 3 by 3 and then let us try it and then text line and the text line segmentation now you can see that the data the analytics image segment these are all seems to be segmented in based on the space between them so what i can do here is uh, one more thing is we mentioned that how many words are there we don't know yet so we can actually uh, use a counter here somewhere let's say integer counter is equal to zero we can set it to zero and inside this loop whenever we get the counter increased uh, whenever we get the number of bounding boxes so we can say that the word boxes word boxes dot count so we will increase them so for each line it will increase it how many we have it will show us and also we can do one thing here cv invoke dot put text and uh, img output we can write it here and we can say that words is equal to how many words do we have counter dot to three and the third parameter where you want to show them let's say i randomly select 10 by 20 this is the location i want to put the text and the font face we can use it a uh, plain text and uh, we can use the scaling 1.5 if you want and the color that we want to select is 0 and 255 and 0 so it will be green uh, in color and i want to select the thickness to be 2 so that we should clearly see it we we put the text with the number of words in it and let us see what happens and now when we click on text line segmentation now you can see that the words is equal to 45 so in this text it says that we have 45 words and we can also try for another text for example we have a text like this this is more clearer so we can select it and this one says we have 94 words and it looks visually okay for me so if there is any problem you just need to go and adjust the parameters for the dilation especially so if you have a bigger characters you need to select a bigger uh, that dilation operator if you're smaller you have to use a smaller one that might affect your results so you can adjust that so that's it for today's tutorial and i hope to see you in another tutorial